Okay, I'm running. Hey! Who would have thought? Okay, um, I'm very happy right now. Maybe for you to know if you've seen the previous video, the previous video, the uh, part one of the Red Album Taylor's version, go watch it. You can see I was always very scared that I will need to edit the video and that YouTube's gonna take it down. But from what I've seen so far, I mean, yeah, I uploaded it. I didn't upload it, but you can like check upload it and it said, hey, it's gonna be fine. That makes me very happy. So now I feel like, you know, a bit more confidence going into the second half because I already said in the first half, I mean, we got like four or five minute songs each. And you can just tell that Taylor lets the music play. And that's what I wanted to do. Otherwise, I always had to take a 30 seconds. I mean, after 30 seconds of music, I would have to take a break. I didn't do that at all in the first video. If you've seen it again, you will have noticed. But now, I know that I don't need to do that. I mean, of course, I'm not gonna just blatantly rip it off, but I'm very happy. Um, begin again. For me, it's been oh, it's been some hours, maybe oh, three hours, I think, in total. Maybe a little less. The sun's gone completely. Uh, right now, I'm actually I I feel like I'm somewhat well lit for the first time in my entire life. <laughs> All the other videos were always quite dark, but now I've got this i basically just pulled up another sun out of nowhere i borrowed it from another galaxy but we're doing very good with it you can even see all of this quite well now you remember from the first video it was very difficult progress people we are making progress and now we're making progress with the second half of the album the previous video ended with starlight now we're continuing with begin again and we will end with uh, on spotify it's gonna end with the 10 minute version of all too well but i will end with because i saw it on genius this uh, note from taylor a message from taylor as you can see up there that's what we are going to add with because I mean, I just opened it. They offered the option. It's some text. We'll just read it afterwards. Maybe it makes sense to us so far. Track 16 begin again. Christopher Rove again. Um, there's not much to add. I thought about making the all too well 10 minute song a different video because why i didn't really think about it i thought because i mean we listened to all too well already on the previous video but meh, i mean why not listen to it twice and now it's you know i'm usually not a big fan of part twos but meh, let's make it why not we can make it happen we can make it better so begin again taylor's version we're continuing and here we go also I'm very calm because I don't need to always stop the music. I think my guess would be now that this is her version and she got her masters back, she isn't with her previous record label anymore, that really tried to pin me down on the album reaction, on the album lover reaction. We're glad. I'm happy. Let's go. Took a deep breath in the mirror He didn't like it when I wore high heels But I do Turn the lock and put my headphones on He always said he didn't get this song But I do I do I know this feeling Think 
so far I can't tell how many relationships we've already been through in this album. This one reminds me again of the same one. I mean, it's funny because he never did. It's a different setting, but on a previous track she talked about how when she got mad, 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 he thought it was funny and all the other people usually didn't think it was funny and were kind of afraid. Because you read in the mirror, you didn't like it when I wore high heels. These are a lot of, I feel like, different relationships, aren't they? He didn't like it when I wore high, we high heels. I mean, right now, I would guess it's like three or four relationships on this album alone, if I remember correctly. Or I'm just very, very confused. I don't know James Taylor. I'm sorry. So far, I would say it's kind of country-ish, which is you unusual for, I forget his name again, for Christopher Rove. So far, he was more like pop, uh, pop rock type music. Um, begin again. It seems to be another one. It's very calm so far. I mean, we just came from, okay, Starlight was a little bit more energetic but the three four previous songs before that were all very you know mellow bit cool down just a vibe some were heartbreak songs some were and this isn't one either this is a we are starting something new song let's see where this is going it's uh, going to be interesting to see how many of these remaining tracks are going to be like this or like the previous like this five six song run we are on right now I just want to say real quick, I'm glad she didn't, and I almost brought him up. I feel like one of the first, one of the worst things one can do on a first date, or one of the first dates, which this appears to be, bring up your exes. No one asked for it. I mean, maybe they asked for it, but still, nah, why? Very pleasant, calm song. Very good right now. I mean, it's uh, in the evening. It's already seven. You know, took a break, went for a walk. It's fucking cold outside. 
so I didn't want <laughs> it didn't walk too far. But eh, still, now coming back, exhausted a little bit, calm down, lay back. This is the first thing I hear. I want to go to sleep, not in a bad way, but in like a very, a very calm, chill way. Uh, the moment I knew will be the next song. This seems to be the start of a new relationship. I don't know which one. Maybe this is the moment she knows how to explain it to me. And we have Paul Mirkovic. Paul Mirkovic? Ah, this too. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I, I remember. We've had quite some producers on this one. 1989 and... Reputation as well as Lover were mostly Max Martin, Shellback and Jack Antonoff. The moment I knew Taylor's version. Let's see, let's see, let's see if we calm down even further. At some point, girl needs to get me back up. It sounds like we're going even deeper. Meditative state. You should have been there. Should have burst through the door with that baby. I'm right here. Smile, and it would have felt like a million little shining stars had just aligned, and I would have been so happy. Christmas lights glisten. I've got my eye on the door, just waiting for you to walk in. But the time is ticking. People ask me how I've been as I come back through my memory. How you said you'd be here. We're starting off very slow again. Piano, some strings on top of it very far away there is a drum beat going on which doesn't sound like it was played with a real drum kit more it's like you know digital percussion but oh, let's see let's see let's see I was wrong. She heard my praise and went in a little stronger. And the hours pass by. Now I just want to be alone. But your close friends always seem to know when there's something really wrong. So they follow me down the hall. And they're in the bathroom. I try not to fall apart. And then feeling starts as I say hopelessly he said he'd be here and it was like very cool switch up on the strings in the back going more like quicker I mean, the moment I knew, again, not that much to tear apart, right? She's been there, she burst through the door with her baby and wrote here, smile. Christmas lights on the door, just waiting for you to walk in. Taking people ask me how I've been, as I come through my memory, how do you say you'd be here? You said you'd be here. Like slow motion, same party dress, red lipstick. She actually mentioned a party dress before, didn't she? I feel like Red Lipstick, of course, has been mentioned several times over several albums. But party dress was mentioned in a previous song. With no to impress and they're all laughing as I'm looking around the room, but there was one thing missing, you. Aha! Uh -huh. He let her down. 
think we ooh, uh, have we been to the third verse already i don't think so I mean, okay, she dressed up, etc., did all that, but what kind of event is it? I just want to be alone. Close friends always seem to know. And there's something really wrong. Follow me, bathroom. So that's why women always go to the bathroom together. <laughs> of course, I've got, you know, trying to fall apart and thinking, feeling starts. As I say, hopelessly, he said he'd be here. But for what? I mean, probably Christmas. Christmas with her family and friends and the partner you've been telling them about doesn't show up. Oh boy. Oh boy, boy, boy. Oh boy. What do you say when tears are streaming down your face in front of everyone you know? Ay, ay, ay. I got no clue what you should say in that moment. And I would have been so happy And it was like slow motion Standing there in my party dress In red lipstick With no one to impress And they're all standing around me singing shit i forgot she had i just uh, also realized that in the previous red reaction she said that or Regina said that her birthday was in december so that's why there's christmas decoration whoa whoa to chicken out on someone's birthday that's that's ted mosby type evil that's wow that's wild That's why to just say, hey, sorry, I couldn't make it. Next time, maybe. That is fucking wild. Yeah, dude, cut him off. Cut him off immediately. Is, no, this can't be the same relationship as the one that just started two minutes ago. Begin again. <laughs> Unless Taylor's really just like shuffling through Tinder, you know, right? Swiping. As if there was no tomorrow. Come back, be here. Oof, he wasn't there in the first place, at least on her birthday. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, Dan Wilson, that's someone new. Isn't it? I think it is. Oh, it doesn't seem familiar. Come back, be here. Holy shit, dude. Being left alone on your birthday. Wow. Meanwhile, everyone is there. Everyone you know. My condolences, of course. No not making fun in a simple way 4 a.m the second day how strange that i don't know you at all we stumble through the long goodbye one last kiss then catch your flight right when i was just about to fall i 
told myself don't get attached but in my mind i play it back spinning faster This kind of re reminds me of a Nickelback song, you know, the within the, 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 the yeah, I'm not how you may remind me, but uh, one of the Nickelback songs. This is a way 4 a.m. second day. How strange. Hey, maybe we, for the first time in our lives, have a continuous relationship right here. Is it the same dude from before? I don't know you at all. I don't know you at all. Oh, maybe. Why one last kiss, catch a fly, why when you just swap out to fall, to myself don't get attached, but in my mind I play it back, spring for some Maybe it's not the same dude. Unless she's very forgiving. Nice musical switch up. I don't think this is any of the previous relay of maybe it is i mean there's no way this album was supposed to be this like played like this in a chronological way because they are i feel like we are jumping around between relationships right here even in, in on the first half at some point we go back to her teenage days at prom or whatever and now we are flying around somewhere then she's in LA then he's someone completely else completely different at this way I wouldn't I feel like this is just a collection of songs maybe I mean there's no way you make a 30 song album and all of them play into each other that would be crazy and one would need to have a lot of things going on in their life to be able to produce that amount of content. I'm still thinking of some Nickelback song, but I, I, I can't remind myself. Especially this, this is when the feeling sings in. This is a, f I forgot which one it was.
I would love to know who she's talking about now. And if this is someone we have met before, I guess it is someone we've met before because in the album previously she talked about having a long distance relationship, right? Where she was like, hey, you're somewhere else and I'm like doing my, you know, my famous people stuff and you're doing your famous people stuff. But that was like, hey, wow, at least half a dozen songs ago. Girl at Home. El, El, Elvira, Elvira, Elvira Andefjert. is an up and coming Swedish producer, singer and songwriter. Elvira has previously worked on the fellow Swedish. Uh -huh. I don't know Elvira. I guess that's how Swedish people pronounce it. Swedish is a funny language, a very funny language. All of the Scandinavian languages are very funny. Girl at Home. We got another cheater on the way. Okay, she knows he got a girl at home. Why does she still let it come to this point where he is turning off his phone and they are both alone? She said it. She said they are alone, right? Everybody knows that. Don't look at me and everybody. Mm. Now you've got me alone. I mean, if she actually said it, it would have been funny. Like, I would like to have been there when she's like, oh no. Don't even try. I mean, uh, who knows? Maybe second verse and she's already, they're already doing it. I mean, okay. You know, girls, uh, girls staying, holding together. Also, cool sound, sound we haven't had so far, very glad it came after this, I mean, I feel like after uh, Sad Beautiful Tragic or Holy Ground even, after that it's kind of been very similar, but now with this, uh, uh, I mean Starlight also, some of the songs kind of switching up again. We're gonna see how this goes two thirds in and uh ooh, she's been like that as well at some point oh, wait 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 oh and also uh, but what i'm wondering is she says hey it would be a fine proposition if i was stupid if i was stupid okay i mean okay <laughs> Stupid in what way? I mean, stupid in the way, hey, I don't know you have someone at home, so meh. I might go for it or stupid in the way as I do know, but I'm stupid, so I still do. Yeah, I might go with it if I hadn't been just like her. I mean, I feel like at this point, Taylor, you, you have the responsibility to also tell her what's going on.
So I would assume she says, hey, you're about to lose your girl, that she's going to, as I suggested, that she should go and say, hey, look, sister, is that how, is that how women talk to each other, sister? I don't think, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't, I wouldn't expect Taylor Swift to talk like that. But she go, hey, girl, look, your man's been acting up. Drop him. A kind of low fidelity outro but why is she saying it would have been fine i mean so if taylor hasn't or wouldn't have been cheated on in the past she would go through with it what the f no come on taylor you're not that girl yeah if, if i mean apart from you don't need to have something like this happen to you f to realize hey maybe i shouldn't fuck someone else's partner state of grace hey wasn't it the wait acoustic version state of grace taylor's version oh now we got a bunch of acoustic versions oh we got so two hey wait no we got one i mean sure why not <laughs> State of Grace was, yeah, was the opener. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe it's unedited in the way of no digital afterwork on the vocals. It would be cool. But it's kind of funny to be within the album itself, taken back to that first moment. Traffic lights, busy streets and busy lives, and all we know is touch and go. We are alone with our changing minds. We fall in love till it hurts or bleeds or fades in time. And I never saw you come in. And I I'm just contemplating whether this was the right song to do an acoustic version of. Because the original, I mean, that's the first song. And I think in the previous reaction, the first song I said, hey, this is very real instruments compared to what I've known from Taylor so far, 1989, etc. And there are some songs on this album that would have been interesting, would have been more interesting in an acoustic type way. For example, I knew you were trouble or 22 or we are never ever getting back together. Like they would have been a bit more interesting. I feel like personal.
shades of wrong we learn to live with the pain mosaic broken hearts but this love is brave and wild i on the other hand i really like i, I think i prefer i'm, I'm uh, uh, i like the singing on this one more than the an acoustic state of grace. You guys know i just thought about it sometimes artists when they use any form of strings in their music for example i definitely know that this was the case with the early 2004-2005 uh, college robot and late registration where there were a lot of songs based around string having samples if there's something like this for Taylor, because back then Kanye did the like his first big tour on his own, and he would go on tour with, an, I think not an entire orchestra, it was mainly strings, but with an entirely female string, whatever you call that. Is there something like this for Taylor, where she is not just a guitar, but maybe playing together with an orchestra? That'd be kind of cool. Not for this song, but in, it just made me think about it. I think this is without auditune. Good decision to add the piano. Very good decision. This is a state of grace. This is the worthwhile fight. Love is a ruthless game unless you play it good and right. I could. I mean, uh, I kind of believe that she, because this is like her version, the entire album is her version, that she wanted to include something like this on her albums for quite some time. But maybe her management always told her, no, Taylor, we can't do acoustic versions of songs on the album. That's not the classical pop, whatever type way. You need to make this and that, this and that, a blab. And now that she has the opportunity to do it, she's kind of, you know, just going with it, what she always wanted to do in the first place. Taylor Swift, Christopher Rove again, and Ronan. Who is Ronan? 
Ronan Thompson died of something. Neuroblastoma. Something with the brain. Neuro is always something with the brain. I don't think the gray brain got blasted away. I don't know what neuroblastoma is. But apparently Ronan died at a very young age. Let's see what it's called Ronan. Now we know that, okay, this cancer and although I think her mother has had a brain tumor, right? Maybe, but I, I'm not sure if it was back then already. I just realized from Lover, the last album, she talked or there was a song about it. So she knew him. I mean, I don't want to click the read more annotation right here, but I yeah, it takes us down. Uh, okay, she talked about it on her own. And I uh, speak now to and exchange kind of information. Stand up to cancer. Okay. But she, because this sounds like she, okay, be uh, her, his mother is Roman a boy, three year old boy, okay. Okay, so Ronan's mother co, co wrote the song. That makes sense. I for a minute thought this was like her little brother or something, of the way she talks about him. I guess this was, uh, as I could just tell from the article down below, that this was like a heartfelt thing for her. So she wanted to include it. I, I mean, I need to to check which of these thirty songs actually made it onto the first Red release. Hmm. Way. No one knows what to say about a beautiful boy who died And it's about to be Halloween You could be anything you wanted if you were still here I remember the last day when I kissed your face And whispered in your ear Come on baby with me, we're gonna fly away from here I mean, it's kind of shit if you are like a small child and probably spent a lot of time in the hospital. Like, hospitals aren't uplifting at all, especially not the cancer treatment area. That's, whoa. It's, it's kind of depressing to be there, to be honest.
This really is the reversed Isn't She Lovely? Isn't She Lovely was about a baby girl being born. Ronan is about a baby boy. I mean, with, with three or four years. Okay, about a toddler. Leaving. The Earth. Rest in peace. But this song gives me even more of the. Uh, how do I say this? It definitely strengthens the idea that this album is mostly like a collection of songs from different periods from her time or from her entire life and different things that she maybe thought about, surrounded herself with. But oh, rest in peace, Ronan. We know of Aaron Desna. He's been a producer before. Better Man, Taylor's version from the vo oh. Now we are going to from the from the from the wall things. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she, just songs she's always had but never released, probably. better off on my own than loving a man who didn't know what he had when he had it and I see the permanent damage you did to me never again I just wish I could before I could do I, I there's no chance I know this and uh, no, da, da, da. I'm thinking of another song with the same rhythm or melody both and I am Na, 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 na. Maybe this is, I mean, we'll see at the chorus, but I think I'm thinking of a different song. I'm thinking of a different song. It was uh, sung, it was a band, but sung by a, by a male singer. But it's, it has the same melody. Magic. I wish it wasn't 4 a.m. Standing in the mirror saying to myself, you know you had to do it, I know. The bravest thing I ever did was run. Sometimes in the middle of the night I can feel you again. But I just miss you and I just wish you were a better man. Well, I know why we had to say goodbye like the back of my hand. But I just miss you and I just wish you were I mean, it's, uh, 
it's still very you know we're still in a way more relaxed state than the first 10 songs of the album but we're still building a little bit of momentum for my own i couldn't tell you who this or what relationship this is And the bravest thing I've ever did was run. Okay. So this is the middle of the night. I can feel you again, but I miss you. And I wish you were here, but a man. Maybe this is what she talked about. Um, whoa, what was it called? State of, no, not state of grace. Girl at home. That this is her singing about the time that she may have been cheated on better man could be i know i'm probably better off all alone than needing a man who could change his mind at any given minute and it was always on your terms i I guess she's talking about that the man didn't want to commit to the relationship. Not in the sense of cheating, but in the sense of, eh, you know, there are options and she wasn't the first option. you were a better man I wonder what we would have become if you were a better man we might still be in love if you were a better man you would have been the one if you were a better man yeah, yeah. and sometimes in the middle of the night That would make three people, three partners on this album, where she talked about, I want to spend my life with you, wedding dress, you would have been the one. Unless they're all, I mean, again, maybe I'm completely wrong and all of these songs are about the same man, but that same dude would be like, he must have some sort of personality disorder and just be like seven people at once. Still 
Would have been. Again, again. I mean, from the vault. Hmm. I guess from the vault. She says also from the vault. Also from the vault. Are all of the following ones from the vault? Wait, let me check real quick. Real quick, real quick. From the vault, 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 from the vault. Okay, we are in the vault. We are in the. We are in the wall. Like a bank accountant, we are in the vault now. Hmm. Let's see what the vault is like. Uh, just mentioned the thing. Okay. She has journals. People do that? Phoebe Bridgers. Oh my god, I was thinking about this one character from Friends. <laughs> But I think her last name wasn't Bridges. And also, she's, oh, they're both blonde. Could be. And Aaron Desner, we know Aaron Desner. But we have a feature. I don't, is she country? American singer songwriter. We find out, we find out. Nothing new with Phoebe. They tell you while you're young, girls go out and have your fun. Then they hunt and slay the ones who actually do it. Criticize hmm. the way you fly when you're soaring through the sky. Shoot you down and then they sigh and say she looks like she's been through it. Lord, what will become of me once I lost my novelty? I've had too much to drink tonight, and I know it's sad, but this is what I think about, and I wake up in the middle of the night. It's like I can feel time move. I think it's kind of funny that this song comes after she has talked about, I would assume, at least a handful of relationships now. I guess, as I said, maybe it's just one. But I feel like it's been at least, th at least three, maybe four. Could also be five. How can a person know? Everything at 18, but nothing at 22. And we still want me when I'm nothing new. How long will it be cute? All this crying in my room when you can't blame it on my. Phoebe has a cool voice. And my cheeks are glowing tired from turning red and faking smiles. Are we only biding time till I lose your attention? And someone else lights up the room. People love and Definitely interesting that she is, you know, having a bit much to drink last night. Most presently, most presently, 
mostly it was present on reputation i don't remember 1989 having a lot of drinking or at all getting drunk i mean okay she's 22 now so allowed to do so would have been very weird if she wrote songs about getting drunk before 22 but the song is from the vault so we don't know what time period or maybe you probably know but i don't we still Someday I'm gonna meet her It's a fever dream The cut of radiance She only heard at 17 She'll know the way And then she'll say She got the rap from me I'll sit on her before her Then I'll cry myself to sleep Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Okay, we're talking about the the Leonardo DiCaprio effect here, but uh, no, not here. Here, cameras only have it seventeen. Um, kind of funny that she would come back to this on "Shake It Off," nineteen eighty nine. On "Reputation," she meant or talks about it, I believe. I can't remember if she talked about this on "Lover." I don't think she did. Lover was something as lover wasn't about, you know. I go on too many dates, that's what people say. Mm -mm. I've had too much to drink tonight, but I wonder if they'll miss me once they drive me out. I wake up in the middle of the night. And I can feel time moving How can a person know everything at 18 But nothing at 22 And we still want me We still Will you still want me when I'm nothing new? <sighs> Taylor, I mean, you're 30 right now. I'm still listening to your music. Or I'm just starting to listen to your music. <laughs> this is for the Okada person. Everything at 18, but nothing at 22. She is right. I mean, or they are right. When you're 18, you're like, nah, I know everything. There's nothing more I could learn. And then life goes on and you realize, fuck. <laughs> Shit. So, oh, Jack Antonoff, ho, ho, that's a familiar name. What is he doing here? It's from the vault. I don't, f oh, maybe. Wrote Manhattan Chain on her. Okay, she wrote about it apparently in 2012. It seems like. Babe. Oh, sorry, I had to think about a, a Justin Bieber song. Babe, baby. Probably from a similar time period. Great song. Mm. I mean, it got a lot of hate. I think it's to this day one of the most disliked videos on YouTube.
little horn section. Very, very, very silent. This is a very not so much Jack Anton. I mean, I expected Jack, An Jack Anton to to do something completely different, based on the Jack Anton of songs with Taylor that I know. That what I was. That's what I was gonna ask. Like, what happened? Every time you call, like, oh, he's the wrecking ball. What did happen? Now we know. Now we know. And I would argue that this is maybe the song that she talked about on Girl at Home. Like the experience that she herself had. I know no one asked for it, but I'm I'm not a big fan of the word babe. Like, hey babe, can you come here to I know a lot of people do it, but uh, not my cup of tea. But there's definitely a difference between the Vault songs and the rest of the album. I mean, at least from from what I can tell, they are very, very different. Message in a bottle. Message in a bottle. Oh, Elvira again. Elvira and the Fiat. And Shellback. He's, ah, uh, no, Shellback was. Ah, uh, no, Shellback was Swedish as well, wasn't she? Wasn't he? Carl? I, wasn't they? Weren't they? Oh yeah, Swedish as well. Look, oh, oh no, but oh yeah, Swedish, Swedish. I noticed that on, I forgot which was one of the other albums. I think Lover or Reputation. Only Swedish people. Only. Shellback, Max Martin, Elvira, and other ones too. When you see a new name on the board right here, you bet your ass is gonna be a Swedish person. Message in a bottle, message in a bottle, track 25. No features, okay, let's see. Very different, wow. For you, 
a little bit like the first Elvira song, wasn't it? The first Elvira song also had some, uh, I remember it being a bit more electronic. Of course, classic Shellback. You know, Shellback and I are somewhat best friends. Of I know her, I know them uh, completely, uh, their style, everything. But this is a nice change of pace. Very nice change of pace. I know, as I said before, I don't think, especially these from the vault, like these last 10 tracks are not really meant to be on the album. So at this point, it's more of a playlist or a collection of songs. But we still appreciate that they've arranged it in a way where this comes in after we've been somewhat very calm for quite some time. But again, I'm, I'm giving up on the idea of uh, I don't even care anymore at this point who she's who she's talking about. You know, you could be the one I love. I, I don't even mind it anymore. Um, at this point, I'm just here for the music. <laughs> Is it the London dude? Might this be the... I know, not the... I know right now she has an... Uh, an an English husband, not husband, partner, but she also talked on this album about someone from London, at least from someone talking about someone who went to London. Meanwhile, she was in New York, I believe, or LA, New York. So uh, maybe it's the same person. Message in a bottle because she's throwing it into the Atlantic Ocean and hopes for the best. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I'm glad we had some more pops. I mean, hey, I'm not hating. It's been great, but it's definitely a very pleasant surprise towards the back end that we are getting a, a bit more funky again. Now we have, I bet you think about me because she thought about him on the previous track with Chris Stapleton. Chris Stapleton, to know, is a 1978 country bluegrass and southern rock artist from Lexington, Kentucky. With Aaron Desner, we know Aaron Desner. 
I, I I do not know country people. I know producer Michael, but he only produces. But the rest, I got no clue. Not at all. Wait, he was born 78, so... 10 years before her, around 10 years. Eh, let's see. 3 a.m. and I'm still awake. I bet you're just fine, fast asleep in your city. It's better than mine. And the girl in your bed has a fine pedigree. And I'll bet your friends tell you she's better than me. <laughs> Whoa, we are going full on country, aren't we? Well, I tried to fit in with your upper crust circles. Yeah, they let me sit in back when we were in love. All oh, they sit around talking about the meaning of life and the book that just Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like she's even changing her voice to a more southern accent. Isn't she? Isn't she? I, I'm, I'm, I'm very sure she is. That I hadn't heard of. Heard of. But now that we're done and it's over, I bet you couldn't believe. But when you realize I'm harder to forget, then I was too late. And I bet you think about me. I forgot this instrument's name, the little, I don't know it in English at least, you know, that you play like this, also always in the jail cell, at least in Lucky Luke comics. That's basically my entire knowledge of the United States of America, Lucky Luke. Anyway, I, I wouldn't say I'm a fan of the instrument, but for example, when Stevie Wonder uses it, or in general, like those back, you know, funky sometimes even in, in, in a jazz type way they used it it was it or it is still amazing i mean i mentioned isn't she lovely earlier isn't she lovely the last two two and a half three minutes of that song is just stevie wonder going crazy on this instrument but the moment country musicians decide to use it <sighs> Meh. It becomes very cliche country type ish, which isn't nearly as funky as Stevie Wonder or whoever using it instead. You grew up in a silver spoon gated community, glamorous, shiny, bright, beaver. I have to interfere right here. Taylor, for the love of God, do not act like you didn't. I didn't know that uh, about it. Somehow, you know, obviously, after I have been looking at a lot of Taylor connected content, it's come to my attention that she was born or like her father was some sort of, I don't know what, accountant? No, not accountant stock market something definitely they made money they made a lot of money they made good money they made a lot of money and i've seen there i know there was at some point she also lived on a farm but she has also that's at least the the picture all the posts been uh, throwing around the house house of hers which basically looks like some 19th century slave owner house so I'm sorry, but come on, don't say it like, hey, you grew up, I raised on a farm, okay, uh, not a mansion, Taylor, 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 come on, come on, eh, that's, that's a bit, oh, wait, I was off on everything, I can even, uh, but this one right here, nah, 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 we can't do that, we can't do that, we can't, like, we cannot, we cannot do that, not, we like, we, we can't do that, especially not when fuck is like, him 
come from Southside Chicago, one of the most dangerous places on planet Earth. We can't be heck, hey, come on, look. Nah, 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 nah. Early hills, I was raised on a farm. No, it wasn't a mansion. Just living room, dancing, and kitchen table bills. But you know what they say, you can't help who you fall for. And you and I fell like an early spring snow. But reality crept in, you said we're too different. You laughed at my dreams, rolled your eyes at my jokes. Mr. Superior thinking, do you have all the space that you need? I don't have to be your shrink to know that you'll never be happy. And I you think about me also it's not just this man but it's these people not her georgia probably as well but the fucking beatles as well they grew up in liverpool or well, some uh, most of them in liverpool if you are from liverpool whoa it's not pretty i just wanted to you know now that i have the options of just doing it right here usually i'd have to cut and throw something in but now that I have this, it's very good. And I want to use it as well. I bet you think about me. Yes, I bet you think about me. Oh, block it all out. The voice is so loud, so you but i just wanted to say it's uh, the way it sounds like chris davidson sounds more like her father because he sings this very this reminds me of like Billy Ray Cyrus, you know, it always when someone sings in the country way, I just, the man could be or was 30, but it sounds like he's 55, 60. Talking to me, like, and then both of them singing about a, a love song that's uh, uh, a little bit confusing for my ears. Last time you fell free was when none of that shit mattered. Cause you were with me But now that we're done and it's over I bet it's hard to believe But it turned out I'm harder to forget Than I was to leave And yeah, I bet you think about me Okay, there's some things we can take away from the song. Taylor is poor. Very poor. Very, very poor. Very, very poor. She's probably, it's, it's probably, not, probably not even her own private jet. It's probably like she most certainly just rent it, rents it daily. So like she's very poor. Oh, sorry. I just, I mean, I, the thing is, I once, I once uh, talked to someone and when I asked her, hey, like, what kind of music do you listen to? She said, ah, you know, 
didn't want to say directly. I kind of had to put it over first. She said, hey, uh, country. And I thought, okay, mm, mm, country, I don't know. I don't really listen to country. I never listen to country, to be exact. But uh, this is more or less what I had in mind, you know. People saying like, hmm, I'm out on the porch, you know, working the fields. And maybe because I bet there are country listeners watching this right now. I mean, I am technically a country listener now, to some extent. Uh, because uh, this this girl told me, hey, that's why she was a bit, a bit hesitant to mention country. Because country listeners are frowned up on in a way. Like, people look down on them, like, oh, you listen to country. I mean, to be fair, I mostly listen to rap, and it also the same thing happens to to rap music. I think Kendrick Lamar's or even Eminem been doing something for it, you know, like helping a bit to get that image up. I mean, it's one of the one of the most popular genres nowadays. But would we forever winter? A funny thing coming from a country song. I always imagine country like, hey, it's I don't know sunny out on the porch with your guitar a banjo and this little instrument i don't know the name of but now we got taylor swift and jack antonoff and i would bet my ass that jack antonoff does not do country let's see we hear horns in the back already my ace is my my ace my ass is safe She hears these days. He says, Why well, fall in love just so you can watch it go away? He spends most of his nights wishing it was how it used to be. He spends most of his flights getting pulled down by gravity. I call just checking up on him. He's up 3 a.m. pacing. He says, It's not just a phase I'm in. My voice comes out. Maybe my ass is still on the line. I don't know. I would somewhat consider this to be country pop. If Jack Antonoff is the reason I'm going to lose my big booty ass, I'm, I'm very sad. I'm going to be assless and sad. That's what I was wondering. Hey, I'd be summer for you forever. If you leave, I'll be winter. Okay, that makes sense. Right now. I feel like at this point, maybe to... I feel like some sort of detective who needs to put all the puzzle pieces together for it to make sense. And the key... I feel like is how she talks about the people because different partners, different usage of words. So 
Okay, it's not just a face I'm in. Going down, find a reason to floor. She talked about uh, the first song, wasn't it? Um, heart, something with heartbreak, mosaic pieces, put them back together. See, that's like my train of thought. Going like, hey, okay, what what parallels do we see? What kind of colors does she use for which person? Maybe even, and here it was gray, or not, it was gravity. Uh, well, maybe it's gray, it's 3 a.m. and night, it's, it's black, it's dark. That's what she said. Pieces on the floor was wasn't this the mosaics uh, mosaic on the floor, as well as she's talking about laughter. Like his laugh is uh, is a symphony. We know we're a hundred percent know of one man who you know. Hey, I'm mad, 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 but you are laughing. You think it's funny. That could be him. Before this ends out, I would argue this isn't really country. Fight me in the comments. In my opinion, I get to get uh, get to still have my bottom half, my back half. These days, I say believe in one thing, I won't go away. She's still. I guess someone made some sort of chart showing which song is about which relationship. That would make sense to do so, because for us people it's very confusing after you know to somewhat still process after twenty seven tracks now. Who she's talking about? Ed Sheeran. The first Ed Sheeran song was all right, you know. Desna, we know Desna exactly. The first Ed Sheeran, one, Ed Sheeran song was all right. It was very, you know, calm. I said again, would be cool because Ed Sheeran during that time, I think until 2014, 15, he was on his, you know, fast guitar playing, rapping, singing, whatever type. I would like to hear that together with Taylor on top of it. Maybe. Please. Ed Sheeran. Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> Eddie. Give me the keys. I'll bring the 
car back around. We shouldn't be in this town. And my so-called friends, they don't know. I drive away before I let you go. So give me a reason. Don't say no, no. There's a chain round your throat, piece of paper where I wrote, I'll wait for you. There's a key on the chain, there's a picture in a frame, take it with you. It's a very nice harmony, two of them. And she kills someone again. Uh, yeah, we've also heard about several pieces of paper. One was on the refrigerator or on the door. And another one was passed to her, if I remember correctly. Darling, let's run. Run from it all. We can go where our eyes can take us. Go where no one else is run. Ooh. Like a child, and I sing like no one cares. No one to be, no one to tell. I could see this view a hundred times. Pale blue sky reflected in your eyes. So give me a reason, and don't say no. Nineteen eighty nine. We are the foxes, they are the hunters, na 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 na. Same topic. It was nineteen eighty nine, right? Yeah, it was. Just different. A bit more powerful. Oh, like they're trying to chase us. Go where no one else is run. Again, I mean, not it's, it's not a bad song, but it's just. Eh, eh. I mean, I, I need to get away from this idea that you know, like th these are the vault songs. This is the the extras. This is the credits. This is the victory lap. This is you know, we're giving you something. On top of it. This is this isn't the album anymore. This is just extra content we want to make available. I feel like because if you make a 30 song album 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 then 
you would play songs more differently. And so far, I would argue that 70%, maybe not, but at, at the 100%, 50% at least are calm songs like this. There's mm, 20, 30% maybe the other one, like, you know, actual pop or whatever you want to call it. And then there is whatever is left is a combination of both where they start out slow, but towards the end on the third chorus, it slaps in. The very first night with Danny D, Danny D, I don't know him. I feel like Danny D is the first black producer I've seen on, on any of her albums so far. Tim Blacksmith as well and Espionage. Sure, she doesn't work uh, musically. She doesn't work with not just black, but any other ethnicity. Maybe it just stands out to me because I realized I listened to a lot of black musicians. I didn't even realize, but. 90%, probably 90% of the musicians I listen to are dark skinned. Dark hair, she looked like she go the very first night. And after that, all too well 10 minute version. I wish I could fly, I'd pick you up and we go back in time. Foreshadowing. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, she definitely used this uh, da, 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 imagery before the exact imagery. The uh, the Polaroid picture, obviously, 1989, but the hotel, I think she mentioned the hotel before. She's always riding around in cars, driving around in cars. And there was one else when I'm going through, Jeff, but they. They're all the roads that lead back to the one dude. All roads lead back uh, lead back to you. But that was the the other half of the of the album, uh, a song where she said the the same thing. And then read to you, na na na, alone. And I rhymed it with all roads lead to Rome. And love. We did like children running Back then we didn't go We were built to fall apart We broke the status quo Then we broke each other's hearts But don't forget about the night Out in L.A. Dance in the kitchen, chase me down Through the hallway No one knows about the words That we whispered No one knows how much I miss you I wish I I feel like this song isn't really preparing me well for the all 12 10 minute version. 
I think ultra well 10 minutes is like, you know, purple red or whatever. I don't, this is just getting us up again. We'll see. I, I will see. Uh, you most certainly have heard it before. I can't remember who it was, but this definitely sounds like the same dude from earlier on the album. But now, but now, but I wanna, uh, I'm gonna listen to the, not completely, I just need to remind myself of how the normal version was, was, real quick. Okay, this this song, this song. Okay, 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 okay. It's okay. It's great. <clears throat> you guys hyped me up too much. My expectations are high. All too well, ten minute version. I mean, my expectations, I'm telling you. Hey Jude, Runaway, Purple Rain. Uh, I forgot the name. The Killing of Georgie, part one and two by Rod Stewart. Daft Punk, Touch with Paul Williams. This is the level I'm speaking about. Bohemian Rhapsody, okay, Bohemian Rhapsody is untouchable, but we get, we get where we're going, we get where we're going. Okay, okay. Let's go. So far, it's similar to similar. It's Batman. I think it's the same. Too. Oh yeah, I, I didn't mention, but we have, or I have listened to the normal all too well version. So just a reminder that this is not yet.
turning red It used to be a little kid with glasses in a twin-sized bed And your mother's telling stories about you on the t-ball team You told me about your past, thinking your future was me And you were tossing me the car keys, but the patriarchy Keychain on the ground, we were always skipping town She's throwing in some lines that haven't been there before. If I, I think. She definitely didn't say fuck the patriarchy before. The car keys, yes. Skipping town was mentioned as well, but not that. Not fucking the patriarchy. And I was thinking on the drive down anytime now. He's gonna say it's a love. You never call. Right now, I would say it is the same story, but it's like, if you know Wilshire by Tyler, the creator, he just talks about the story. So one part of me is thinking, hey, this is going to be like the complete story of this uh, relationship that all too well normal version was about, like Wilshire, and we're going to stay on a similar way. Or it's going to be, if you know touch by daft punk if you know bohemian rhapsody if it's going to be in this direction as in okay we got a 10 minute song we are going to go crazy to keep it in or not keep it interesting but to switch things up add things in cut things out bohemian rhapsody is three songs in one and touch is nearly the same also several songs in one I'm very glad she's uh, switching up, you know, bringing energy in it.
I think the suspicion that it was it's it's the it's like Wilshire. If you know Wilshire, you know Wilshire. It's the story. It would be very cool if she or they would musically turn it up as well, but I think right now it's safe to say we are telling the story. like to be my old self again but i'm still trying to find it after plaid shirt days and nights when you made me your own now you mail back my things and i walk home alone but you keep my old scarf from that very first week because it reminds you of innocence and it smells like me you can't get rid of it because you remember <laughs> I mean the definitely the the story is keeping it interesting. The story keeps it interesting. I just wish they could have would have may have done something. Okay, I'm I'm going to shut the fuck up this outro here. Telling jokes but the punchline goes I'll get older but your lovers stay my age From when your Brooklyn broke my skin and bones I'm a soldier who's returning half her weight And did the twin flame bruise paint you blue Just between us did the love affair maim you too Cause in this city's fair and cold I still remember the first fall of snow And how it glistened as it fell I remember it all too well Just between us did the love affair maim you all I just need to pause only for copyright purposes. We continue. Between us, do you remember it all too well? Just between us, I remember it all too
Now, if we make an, an entire album like this, we are very good. That would be cool if you just made an, not, an, not an entire album, one song, but an entire album in the way the song was built. You know? It doesn't even have to be an entire album. You can, it has six verses, maybe seven, eight, ten. Make it an EP. That would be cool. So it's a combination of both. It's a combination of storytelling and towards the back end as well, musical difference. But I'm telling you people, if you, if you want to know what I kind of thought it was going to be like, uh, Def Punk Touch, you probably know Bohemian Rhapsody. What else is there? I mean, Hey Jude is very grand towards the end. That is amazing. And there definitely were, but I can't really tell what the, what the, what the, what the, like highest peak of the song was. It was constantly on a very high level, but there wasn't a standout moment. You know, like, again, listen to Bohemian Dead Rhapsody, standout moment. Hey Jude, standout moment. Touch, standout moment. All of them, standout moments. But this isn't, this isn't Taylor. This is Jack Antonoff, wasn't it, was it, right? Jack Antonoff. I mean, Jack Antonoff here? Jack Antonoff isn't Paul McCartney. He can't, he can't, he can't change it. Jack Antonoff isn't... He isn't queen. He isn't yay. Oh, he can. I, I feel like he did his best. Taylor definitely did her best. Taylor carried it. Taylor absolutely carried it. Maybe Taylor needs to. I wish she would work together with. As I said, she featured with. Def Punk because they can do incredible things. They did the entire Tron score. If she collaborated with even Paul McCartney, I think would get great stuff out of her because he's very good at melodies and he's very good at songwriting. Even if she worked, I think her and Kanye could work great together because Ye can make great, incredible beats and he would kind of you know, be the yin to her yang. She's like very serious and he's just, he's just goofy. He can be serious, but he's mostly goofy. But that would be cool. But she works, uh, all the, all the Taylor Swift albums barely had features, right? Mostly, mostly associate, not associate, executive producers, but barely any features. It would be really, I mean, are there any Taylor Swift features on other people's albums or singles, whatever? I don't think there are. That would be fucking cool to hear Taylor Swift, you know, out of her comfort zone on something entirely different. Because not out of her comfort zone, but together with other people, I would love to hear her on something else than Jack Antonoff. Could be, there's a lot of potential. Maybe there are some fan made, uh, fan made edits. I know there are, there's the Black Beetle album, which is a compilation of the Beatles and Kanye entirely. And there, the last song is a We Major and Hey Jude combination, which is quite infamous. It would be fucking crazy. Or I would love to, uh, to hear her on something else than Jack Antonoff. Please let me out. Not just Jack Antonoff, but Max Martin, Shevek, etc. You know, something different, maybe. A bit more versatile. Would be cool. Will be cool. This isn't the end. I mean, it's the end of this video, but it's, it's, it's not the end. Not the end. Especially not the happy end. This, this can't be the happy end. <laughs> But uh, one thing you guys need to let me know, 
where do we go from here? Now we have had everything from red to lover. We either go back to the fearless days or forwards to the midnight's evermore folklore days. It's your choice. Also, next week is probably gonna be maybe someone else. And I, not someone else here in this chair, but I'll maybe listen to someone else. Because uh, considering pop music, from the past 30 years, I've been I've been completely gone. The la okay, apart from Taylor Swift, the last pop album I've listened to was probably from 1995, the Gold Experience from Prince or by Prince, and I wouldn't even call that an, call that a pop album. So I don't know what the and I do know what Taylor is somewhat doing right now, but I don't know what the genre itself is doing. I don't know what Carly Rae Jepsen, Carly XCX, Lord. You know, people that are considered, or Jesse J, uh, I don't know, Billy Irish, Harry Styles, whoever. I do not know what these people are doing. And I have something in my eye. I would love to. I have something still in my eye. Okay, we need to get this to an end. So please let me know if uh, any of those ring a bell. Because I don't know what the has been going on with pop music in the past 25 to 30 years. I haven't, I, I haven't listened to it. That's what we're going to do now. But first, we're going to end this video. It's been a, a great ride. I can definitely see why people say this is their favorite album, uh, song. It is a standout track. It is artsy. It is what I was hoping for at the beginning of part one. It finally came around at the end of part two. <laughs> we're going full circle, just like she always describes it. Describes it. But that should have been it for now. Uh, let me know in the comments what's up next on the plate. Also, I need to listen to live performances and all that. We got time, people. We got time. I hope we do. If we don't, we don't. Eh, we'll see. Till then, bye.